Hey guys, welcome back. We got a uh, get a juicy one today. We have a little bit of a counterfeit Pokemon card being sold on Marketplace. Of course, of course, it was. It had to be a first edition base Charizard, and it had to be way too good to be true. Yes, that is a first edition base Charizard for two hundred and fifty dollars. Now, guys, I know what you're thinking. You hit the jackpot. But please know what you're looking at. If you're gonna search for this stuff in the depths of the depths, you gotta you gotta know what you're looking at. If you're going to garage sales, if you're going on marketplace, if you're going on offer up, all that real sketchy stuff, you need to know exactly what you're looking at. You need to be watching my videos so that you can compare side by side. That's what we're gonna do here first. We're gonna do a side by side comparison of this bad boy. I'm gonna tell you why it's fake. Uh, we're going to talk to the person that was selling the fake, who I believe was. Uh, doing it intentionally who had created this thing this monstrosity of a uh, fake card uh, and was selling it that they knew it was fake just by the uh, verbiage we got there right on the on the listing itself that says don't know if it's a real or fake this is being held pending purchase no returns uh, that kind of thing they mentioned also that there's a lot of mention like no returns don't know if it's real or fake that's on you to decide uh, seemingly just trying to get $250 out of this thing. Now, it could have been a mistake, and I hope it was. I hope it was for the sake of the, the seller's moral compass. But regardless, we're going to give them a call. We're going to give them the option to destroy the card uh, and uh, promise not to, to sell it to anyone else or, or anything like that. Uh, in exchange, I will not contact law enforcement with all of the information. Uh, to contact them, to get in touch with them and what they're doing and how it's fake and how they were warned that it's fake. We're going to see if they do the right thing. We're, we're going to see. We're absolutely going to see. So now, buckle, buckle up, buttercup. We got to do some learning here. We got the Charizard in question. And now we're going to get into it. I'm going to give you the reasons right off the bat here. Uh, if, you, if you don't have this in a large enough screen size, I suggest you do so. There's a little, little learning lesson. We've done this before on the channel. But here we go. I want you to look at this bad boy. If you'd like to, you can even pause the video. Pause the video right here. And tell me what's wrong with this and why it is not a real first edition base Charizard. There are many reasons. I probably won't even list them all. If you have any reasons that I don't list off, feel free to add them down below in the comments section. If you notice something that I'm just going to ream through some here. So, first of all, the colors are off. But you have to be careful. Colors can be deceptive. Uh, a, lot ha a lot of it has to do with lighting. Terrible photos. The photos are pretty good. I will say. They're in focus for the most part. I mean, it, yeah. Okay, the, the print quality is lacking, uh, so it does look like it's a little bit blurry, like it's a little out of focus, which is, again, this has got to be something that you're looking for. Always do a side-by-side -side comparison. We're going to do a little bit of side-by-side -side comparison after we run through the reasons here, but always do a side Get it. Go look at a known real thing. Look at it side-by-side. -side, compare every single detail, and you should be able to tell that this or any of the other fakes are fake, even just by photos. Usually, even in the bad photos, you can tell. All right, so uh, the art box here, it's uh, maybe we've got to zoom in a little bit here. The uh, the the art box, uh, if you zoom in here, you can tell this bad boy does not want to stay contained within the 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 art box, the frame itself whatsoever. It is trying to escape. Um, that's you know what the the hollow there can be stuff that's shifted and it'll look like it's slightly out, but it's not it's not going to be crinkle cut like this bad boy. This bad boy doesn't know if he wants to be a hollow or non hollow. If the hollow wants to escape, um, this edge should be nice and sharp. It is not. You see down on the bottom here, too, you got some lumpy clumpies coming out of there. Uh, that is uh, definitely a bad sign. You do not want to see that happening. Again, you can have the hollow shift and it be like going across the border a little bit, but it'll be the whole thing shifted down, up, left, right, whatever it's got to do, whatever it's got to shift. Um, you can see some like really egregious ones and there are collectors for those where like the, the outline of the Pokemon is visible somewhere else. Uh, so the, the first edition stamp, uh, that is wrong. So you're going to want to, even, even if the card is real, even if everything else checks out, we've seen the Arjun Dillon stuff, you're going to want to identify the fact that the stamp is real or not real. Uh, I can tell you right now, this bad boy, not, not good, not looking good. It is decent because usually we want this border here lining up with the bottom of the one. We want this coming through part of the T, uh, but uh, if you just look, the way that the addition comes across the top is very hard to replicate, uh, and they didn't they didn't do a good job here. They didn't do what they needed to do uh, if they were going to make something that was convincing. Now, what do we have next? We have the weird fraying on the top. So, uh, fraying uh, and, and edge damage, not necessarily a bad thing to see, but uh, what is a bad thing to see is anything that's got beat up sides on it, beat up edges. 
uh, and the fact that it doesn't have silvering. If it had any sort of beat around the beat around the bush, beat around the edges, you're gonna see silver peeking through. Uh, we do not see that. It just looks like it was cut really poorly. That's what we're dealing with here. More than damage, I think it looks like it was cut more than more than anything else. So, uh, again, with this much damage, if it was damage, which it probably is not damage, it's just cut poorly. Um, as, as you'll see, the, the scissors are not exactly the sharpest, so maybe those same scissors were used to cut this bad boy after a card was added to the back. Spoiler alert, we got a little bit of a video where she shows out the card. Uh, so, yes, if there, if there was this much damage to the edges, you would have more damage to the surface of the card uh, and the hollow. The, the front side of this thing, other than the fact that it's painfully fake, would have much more damage done to it on it. Um, now, the, I guess the most glaring thing, the thing that stuck out to me the most, uh, or just, I mean, other than the fact that the print looks bad and the edge is really jacked up, uh, is the fact that the the stars the hollow pattern is wrong here we got uh, the stars here there is no star that will ever appear that is as large as this one here this is like basically the whole mouth of the charizard uh these bad boys um yes they're going to be in different spots you want them to be in different spots as we'll see as we'll discuss here in a minute but uh too big wrong wrong hollow pattern not good uh and the the ones that have holes we're going to take a look at uh, this thing in in a video and then we're also going to take a look at uh, what happened to it at the end. You probably probably spoiled by the thumbnail a little bit, uh, but uh, the the stars, yes, they should be. They should look identical. If you need to, you can bring this bad boy over into paint. Um, I don't know if I have that. Uh, I have it open, but uh, here we go. Here we go. Bring this on screen for a second here. So if you if you take the, if you take the star and you put it, let's we're gonna use the Charizard tooth to tooth. Uh, for scale, uh, this one here you can see here. This is the this is the counterfeit. This is the one that we're discussing. This is the one from the listing. Uh, it goes from bottom tooth here to top tooth uh, in height on this star. That's a that's a bad sign. That's a that's the wrong hollow foil pattern. That is an imitation hollow foil pattern. Uh, that is the wrong size. We got this one here. Uh, you can see here we have the same the, the the big stars that we pulled from here and here on a real copy, uh, and it does not make it to the bottom tooth not even close to the same size uh, so I guess it's good that I still had that open I meant to include that but I guess we did anyway that's uh that's the <laughs> the bonus of having too many tabs too many things open on your computer all at once you can just grab them when you need them now uh, those clean holes yes the the clean holes should have clean holes uh, and then we have this outline on the the Charizard itself which is uh, not good so the outline and these lines here uh, when you look at real examples, when you take photos of real examples, they do not look like this. Uh, yes, there is a little bit of an outline on the Charizard itself, but it shouldn't be just like this bold white outline on the card. That is a, that's a bad sign. That's another bad sign right there. So there probably is more uh, outside of the fact that like a lot of the text is not as clean as it should be. Uh, but it's just because it wasn't printed on the same equipment. So if you had this bad boy in real life, you could use your, jewel your jeweler's loop and say you're going to pick it up in person. You found a sick, nasty deal. You probably drove way too far for no reason, uh, but you'd want to bring your jeweler's loop uh, and check to make sure that there's an actual rosette pattern. There probably isn't, but even if there is, you want to compare it to the real thing. Uh, we'd like to take a look at the back side of this bad boy to make sure it's a real back. But again, you can't be certain that they, they could have printed the Charizard onto a real card so the back isn't a, isn't a telltale all-in-one encompassing solution it is a good thing to check right away uh but uh but yeah pretty much that all right now uh let's take a look at the video next and then we're going to go through real examples and i'm going to tell you guys what you should and shouldn't be looking for when you use the real examples all right shebang let's watch this video uh this was sent to uh people that were potentially going to buy the charizard uh, and uh, this is what she had to say about it. As you can tell here from the uh, from the get-go, we're real thick on the top, uh, and it might be hard to see on the video there. But uh, I can I can tell you, it looks like there is a card stuck to another card, probably a real Pokemon card back uh, that's stuck to the, uh, the the front. That is the the proxy the proxy Waxy Charizard. All right. Okay, so there's the top. Side. I can definitely see those black spots that you're talking about. I don't know if that's what you're looking for, but 
I can definitely see what you're talking about. I don't think I ever paid attention to that. But again, I don't know a thing about this stuff. I mean, I remember cousins and myself sort of playing with this stuff when it was, when it became a thing, but n I never really thought anything of it. So uh, I hope this helps. All right, there's the video. So again, just because somebody says they don't know what they have, it's you, your loss is their gain kind of thing. Uh, it's a pretty common tactic. Again, we can't confirm 100% for certain uh, that this was a malicious intent event. But it, it's certainly looking like it. Uh, and hopefully they do the right thing. And we'll find out if they do. Now, let's uh, hide my camera here real quick. Uh, and I'm going to show you guys the the side by side. There we go. Uh, I don't want me to be in the way. We got the goofy ass Logan Paul uh, making a face with the Charizard there. But what we're looking at here, uh, the most important thing when you're looking for fake cards is the fact that you need to you need to go on. You need to you need to go first edition Charizard base TCG player. So look up the name of the card. Type in TCG player. You're going to want to take a look at that listing. So this is it. This is it right here. Uh, again, this is a good reference to have. But most importantly, the first thing you always want to check, uh, if you're unsure if it's fake or not, is the fact that, like, does the hollow pattern exactly match the Charizard? And usually most believable fakes, because they use the image here, they're going to use this TCG player image with no watermark on it. They're going to use this to print off their fake cards. Now... When they do that, they're printing on the, ho the the hollow foil pattern, so the pattern is going to be the same in all of those. That is not the case here. So we're we're at difficulty level two, about uh, about what we're looking for, what we're looking for in counterfeits. Uh, but what this does tell us, the TCG player one, uh, is is basically that if you, if you take a look, and this is the one that I used for the uh, the hollow foil pattern comparison, you can see these bad boys here. These are the big sparkles, the big sparkles on the original hollow foil pattern. Uh, and they are not even close to as big as the Charizard's mouth. Uh, if you take a look at the fake boy over here, these things are chunky and spunky. We got sideways ones, we got upright ones that are way bigger than they should be. Uh, and again, a lot of the other stuff is just kind of smacked on there. They put some stars on there. Hopefully no one can tell. We do see there's one here that has like a hollow middle. That's something that you're going to want to look for. Uh, the different types that are on there all very important again there's a there's many different ways that you can find out that you can uh, look at this thing and know that it's fake I also notice that around the border here um, there is a little bit of an outline uh, but not even close to this chunky white outline here uh, from the Photoshop job that was um, whoever created this uh, counterfeit card yes the color is a little bit different the color can vary a little bit and it does depend heavily on lighting so don't you know don't throw that one out uh, as a as a sole reason but you see here we got like sharp gray bars sharp white bars uh, when in reality they turn out usually more of a blue color uh, with the hollow foil the the foil kind of stuff going on there so we have we have an imitation boy another good way and not exactly the the best way in this scenario uh, is to take a look at uh, the edges where the wings of the Charizard are often fakes will be the wrong size um, so we can we can take a look at where this stuff here ends off, uh, where the toes go. If his toes are too long, if they're too far or too into the border, that's a big old red flag. Because again, the Charizard is going to be printed at the same time as the border. Uh, the hollow foil and its shiftedness is a whole different step, a whole different process that can be off. Uh, but that's what we're looking at there. Now, uh, is there anything else that we need to touch on? The first edition stamp on these two, this is what you're, you're going to be looking for. There are thick and thin stamps, so that isn't... Uh, necessarily a, uh, a sign or of, of legitimacy or not we, we have the fact that uh, this bad boy is a perfect example of like where this intersection can come from or should come from where the bottom of the one is at the bottom of this flame Pokemon little bar here and then this bad boy here should intersect through the T your T should be crooked the way that these letters kind of spread out across usually very hard and usually not done correctly on your counterfeits now uh, also very good to do is just look at a bunch of copies just make sure that like uh, if you can't see the hollow pattern if you can't see certain details on certain scans that the, guess what there are a lot of scans there are a lot of photos that show hollow foil uh, on your first edition base Charizard especially but I mean anything is that case anything that's expensive is gonna have a lot of photos of it so you should be using those as a reference um, so here even if we put in like first edition Charizard base PSA 
Uh, just go to go to places where you know that it's confirmed real, that it's somewhere reputable, whether it's like PSA's website, uh, whether, it, you know, we got an actual seller, we got actual sellers and graded cards. Now be careful because there are going to be fake graded cards that show up in that Google search, uh, but use the real ones. Uh, to your advantage as a little cross-reference. So we got this bad boy right here. Uh, you can see this is a, a great example of what like the hollow foil should look like, what it should photograph like on, on camera. We have the uh, first edition stamp looking juicy. We have uh, this little bad boy here. So you see the star, it's got the little pinhole in it. Always very clean. Uh, I shouldn't say always very clean, but a clean, a clean one of these is a, a good sign. Definitely something you should be looking for. Uh, we got one on the top and one on the bottom there. Uh, and you see again with the size of the the hollow pattern itself the fact that there's way more hollow pattern there is more if you if you shine a light on it in a different manner uh, and it depends you can have a real copy that doesn't show as much detail either this one here is showing to the max pretty cool uh, this one another okay so the here I guess a similar similar situation where we're gonna we're gonna the T Again, the T is, is bending, bending to the left, just like this bad boy over here. You got the T to the left. It's kind of like tilted to the left because it's, it's the text is bent around and the T should not be straight up and down. If the T is straight up and down, you're, you got you got bamboozled. Either it's a fake stamp or you got a fake card. Sweet. All right. Now, another little example here. And then sometimes you can't see the hollow uh, pattern as much, uh, but important details. Uh, taking a look at the card itself again. You can see the outline on the Charizard not the same again I, I would love to see a picture of a legitimate Charizard first edition based Charizard uh, That has these gray bars and the uh, the white outline uh, as pronounced as as that so yes There can be hollow shift, but it's not going to be hollow shift all the way around the entire Pokemon It'll be up down whatever uh, And I don't, man, if you find a hollow shift Charizard, you're probably you're probably in the money now we got. Uh, we can. We can also look up fake. So you can look up fake Charizard first edition base. Uh, you can probably find some very similar stuff. Uh, there was a couple examples. Um, there are a couple examples where uh, the the Charizard uh, has a nice little outline uh, like the one shown. Uh, here we have the gray bars. So this is looking a lot like the the Charizard in question. Again, these ones don't seem to have a hollow pattern on them whatsoever. But they do share the uh, the outline, and it seems like the outline is a little bit more transparent. So the sizing on the outline, the shine of the outline, uh, these bad boys also very fake. Um, and you can see here they messed up the the first edition stamps as well. Um, again, the, all the little details are there for you before you end up sending someone money. Someone, I, I don't want someone to send two hundred fifty dollars to someone, get ripped off, and like in hopes that like okay, it's only a two hundred fifty dollar gamble. I don't want anyone, including the seller here, even if they meant to, I don't want them to screw up their life because they, you know, they decided, hey, well, maybe I can make a quick 250 bucks off some stupid Pokemon collector and, and, and then end up with like a criminal record. Um, maybe, maybe that's the gate into doing more of it. I don't, I don't know exactly, but here we go. We have another fake here uh, that was posted on Reddit. Uh, this one more egregiously fake than the, the one that the, the seller had. We give it a little click through. We give it a little click through. There we go. We got uh, again terrible, usually terrible photos. Uh, this in a graded case, probably to hide the fact that it's you know it looks even worse than the the one on the left side here. Uh, but uh, that's pretty much it. All right. So uh, so first of all, uh, I did call the uh, the wife of the individual uh, that uh, that posted this bad boy. Uh, so we're gonna listen to that call real quick. She was not impressed, um, and um, but uh, but uh, let's let's listen to that. Yeah, I got you. Hello. Hello. How's it going? Sorry. Um, sorry to call you and and. Stop calling me I, repeatedly. I, I, I just Stop I have important I have me. important information for you. Please. No, you do just, not. Stop I do. calling me. Yes. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> so yeah, incredibly angry that I was calling her. Um, I don't know if that was because it was uh, the, the subject matter that I was calling about uh, or what exactly, apparently she was at work. Um, if you're at work, you probably wanna turn turn your phone off. Um, 
But regardless, uh, we're going to send her a text message after this. We're going to stop calling. We're going to send a text message. I just kind of explain the situation. And that's how the texts went right here. The wife did not reply to me, but I did get a text from Ashley, the seller of the Charizard, which was uh, very nice of her to do so. Here's the, uh, those texts. And yes, you are damn right. We are going to call Ashley. Um, we're going to just in a second here. I know you guys have been patiently waiting for it. Uh, and we're just going to basically offer the fact that like, hey, do the right thing. Uh, we don't get law enforcement involved. Just uh, just give it a little give it a little snip. Give it a little rip for us and uh, promise that you're not selling any others to anyone else. And uh, you're, you're you're free to go. Here's your here's your pass. We're feeling generous today on the, the Rattle Pokemon YouTube channel, and we're going to. We're, here's your pass. Please don't do it again. Who is this? Hey, how's it going? It's uh, my name's Mike. How are you? I um I do a little bit of kind of like Pokemon detective work of sorts, not like in the yeah, law good enforcement for you. sense, That's but fantastic. I'm not, I I just I. No, 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 no. Don't be, don't be mad at me. I just want you to do the right thing here. No, I am mad um, at you, but you contacted my wife, not me. Okay, great. No, not great. You contacted my wife. She's at work right now. She has absolutely nothing to do with this. Okay. And she I should have her phone that, off at work, I probably. I yeah. Pokemon card not knowing if it was real or not, and now that I know, it's canceled. Okay. It's taken care of. All right. Can you send me a picture of it ripped in half, please? I'm sorry, say that again? Can you send me a picture of it ripped in half, please? Oh, yeah, no problem. Okay. Do you have any others? I just like no, I just want you to be honest have. with me. I don't want to bring it to law enforcement. I just don't want you to rip somebody off is the only thing. No, dude. Dude, uh, first of all, let me just tell you something. I'm not trying to rip, to rip anybody off at any given time. Okay. I don't know. Like, this is... I don't know thing. Let me stop you for a second. Okay, okay go ahead. Speak. Yeah. Okay. My aunt has a box full of stuff that belonged to my cousin, my first cousin. Okay. And it was full of toys, and that's how I gained possession of this, okay? okay? And I didn't know if it was real or not. I've been told from multiple people that it is and multiple people that it's not, so I didn't know. Okay. I don't know anything about Pokemon anything. Okay, it's just worded really, really uh, peculiar where you're like, I don't know if it's real or not. Then if you thought it was I'm real, sorry, like, it's, if that was real, it would be worth way more than $250. I'm sure you That's know that, true. but... No, I don't know. Like, I, I, I have no quarrels about it because I don't know. Okay. Well, like, I don't, I don't play with cards for a living. I don't, okay. do, I don't do any of this shit. Mm -hmm. Like, I've sold stuff before on Marketplace, but I'm not anybody yeah. that does any kind of crazy shit like that. Okay. I'm actually, like, it's actually pretty hard to cut. Like, I don't even know that it's, there we go. Here, I'm cutting it in half. Like, yeah, it's, it's basically like two cards glued together is what it looks like from the videos you sent people. Okay, give me just a minute, and I'm trying to, I'm trying to send you a photo of it. To the, okay. To the, if it was an honest mistake, that's fine, too. I just want to make sure that people aren't, like, taking advantage of no, this. No, it is. It is, yeah. and I appreciate, uh, I, I do appreciate you reaching out. Mm -hmm. And I canceled the order on the buyer's end, okay. just so okay. you're aware of that. Mm -hmm. But uh, to be very frank with you, also, I'm a little upset that you contacted my wife. How did you even get her number? Um, I'm, I'm just really good at getting phone numbers. Apparently not good enough, though, because I, I didn't get yours. I got your wife that has the same name. Yeah, you got my wife's number, and my wife is a nurse at the hospital. So okay. She's at work right now. All right. So... That, you need to do a little bit better. Like, okay, yeah, ridiculous. my apologies for that. But I'm, I'm glad that you're going to do the right thing. Um, gonna, do you send me a you picture of it? Did you get the picture? Uh, yes, I did. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to sit on the phone with you until you have it. Yeah, I have it. We're good. Just, uh, yeah, just, yeah just don't do it again if it was intentional. And if it wasn't intentional, be careful what you're selling. Cool? Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank right. you very much. Have a good one. You won't hear from me again unless you do anything similar. Have a good one. Appreciate it. Bye.